Welcome back, Bohemians! My name is Stokreva. This is some more European Universalis 4 playing the Bohemian Rhapsody campaign as Bohemia. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of Bohemia, isn't there? Basically. Uh, playing this with Briarstone, check out this description below for a link to his channel. So you can also check out his stuff. And also, when we die, of course, our um, save game goes to him. That's the point. So when the king dies, save game swaps over and the other will continue play. This is just... Seriously, what is it with old people getting kids lately? Denmark, the queen herself. Breaking ties is one stability. Is that worth it? Probably. I'd rather do that with Denmark, actually, then. Hang on. They're still allied to England as well, though, but... We've noticed how not of an issue England has been. Inquisitor. Hmm, could be useful. No, I'll, I'll keep that going with Denmark. I will break the marriage over there, though. Ah, they're now claiming stuff on us as well. Teutonic Order. Been discovered. Oh, hang on. Go spy again. And now we build a cathedral in Ulm. There. Point 30 in Prague, by the way. They're pretty good for money. I mean, that goes from plus 40 to plus 60, but it's also the missionary strength. Which is why I'm for focusing that one on Ulm. Fabricate a claim on... Shiraz. Um, that's the player map mode. I need to find the regions or state map mode. Areas, regions. I think areas is it. Yeah. That's too small. It's only one province. That's three provinces of which we only have one. Only have one. Only have one. Yeah, all those states that we can form, we only have one actual province of. So... Not that useful. Not right now, anyway. Well, you do have 98,000 manpower now as maximum. That's upper fort in our capital. Two, four, six, eight, twelve, fourteen hundred more gold needed for that. Bloody hell. Mm, 250, 250, 250, 375 is, would still be decent for uh, barracks, but... What I should do... Okay. Let's actually build you out to your max. Let's at least get a few more cannons for that army. 105 is now my force limit as well. That template can definitely go. Liege has an issue. Noble from House Moran. And it's only Liege actually. Let's get that claim. Those alliances, Austria, you're just such an asswipe. <sighs> also von Habsburg, no legal heir. And again we're capped on Diplo power, holy crap. Oh man, I need a thousand and three to take the tech. That's a little bit unfair. Nah, it's it's fair. 
Um, what I should maybe look at is just start converting some cultures, then... How are we doing culturally in general, though? Where can I find this again? I don't even remember where it is. Oh yeah, um, Saxon is accepted, but close to not being accepted at all. Westphalian 10.10, Bavarian .10. is quite high, Danish 0, Swedish 0. Oh, because we don't have them as states, as full states that is. Okay, let's just look at cultural changes. Um, cold time months, yeah, that looks logical. Silesian is in the West Slavic group. Yeah. Lubeck, wow. What does it do anyway? Manpower, missionary strength, tax modifier. Okay, so Breslau. Where do we get our manpower from anyway? Is in Breslau is a lot of map or Glogau, yes, Glogau needs to be converted. But that is Silesian, so that's only minus 15% penalty. Mm. That is Polish. It's also West Slavic, so I don't have to convert those. Um, is that economic? It is actually political. No, see? Polish and Silesian and Bohemian are not that big of an issue. Saxon is of course accepted, so they're doing fine. But I should what I should do then is actually expand some more Saxon culture. Um towards Saxon. Yeah, because Saxon is accepted. I'll do these three. There. The Saxon is accepted, but really close to losing that acceptance. Of course, Saxon would be a nice one then. Wow, Livonian Order hiring out some troops to the Teutonic Order. Apparently, Denmark. Really? I can now convert Ulm. Our cathedral has finished, basically. Doesn't mean I can't build my fort right now, but we can build one in Krakow. Our advisor is dead. Um, let's get a cheap one for the time being. Level two statesman arrives. <laughs> Ansbach is now an administrative monarchy. More men for the army. Base manpower in Prague. It's only 102 to develop now as well. It's getting better. It's 41. Yeah, it is. Advancement of notability. They gain... Oh, crud. General ship is 46. And... Oh, boy. Hmm. They should not fire if they don't gain more influence. That is 150 par, though, we can gain. Mm -hmm. Let's get the one with the spy network construction. Because we are working on some spy networks right now. 
Aristocratic coup. Yeah, I know. I can see that. Nobility is a little bit pissed off. At least one unre... We wow. Discontent. Where is that coming from? Apparently there's widespread discontent with our government's rule for three more years. When did that happen? I don't even recall that popping up before. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, England has decided to land in uh, Denmark. They would marry us. Hmm. They just based out England. Uh, war operations from England. Yeah, so that... Wow. Denmark will cede one province to Verden, one to Bornholm. Oh, Bornholm to the Teutonic Order, of course. Course, one, two, three, four. Lots of course to Sweden. Sweden is allied to Poland, Augsburg, Poldenburg, and Pisa. Hmm. Great relations, royal marriage, no CB. Let's not do that. Breaking truce, no CB. And let's work on a spy network here. Should maybe force a revolt on the Teutonic Order. They might not be able to handle it the way that Austria handles it quite easily nowadays. Yeah, as long as I don't get a sudden rise in uh, in ability influence, we should be good for now. Ellen's going after Munster. The fact that they're still around is amazing. Munster and Salzburg. Hmm. Claim. Lithuania does have claims on Poland as well. Hmm. Uh, it's still surprising that no, it, us thirty-one. It's going down quite happily. It's an Austrian army stuck in Saxon. You guys need to be supported, rebels. Um, of course we're going with Lithuanian separatists, hello. <laughs> because they would come to us if they were to succeed. Yeah, that's true. And that's now a 30 stack. Okay, deceitful scams in Austria have slandered the good name of our merchants. Oh my god, the timing is so bad on these things sometimes. Yeah, hire him. 63 is not bad. Quality education. We activate our forts. Honorable people. 20 prestige for free. It's only 0 0.55. I think we need 10 star forts currently to make it work. Oh yeah, they're probably converting still. I will invest in nationalistic enthusiasm. Production efficiency, and then we get even cheaper development cost. And that, oh, excuse me, uh, also unlocks the development cost reduction from quantity 
So it has more land force limit as well. It's weapon quality standards is 5% discipline. Influence ideas, also nice. Our manpower is at 75%. We need it to be at 90 to get the reward. Oh, we need two stability for that. Um, I would like to just get Sunday schools done. Because that is free. You just need two stability for that. Oh, how's Muscovy doing? Uh, they already have a air. Of course they do. Just now you should live a very long and beautiful life and then they both die at the same time. Austria supporting rebels in... The Burgundians. Oh, we lost another general. And uh, let's just do the French separatists. It's a little bit cheaper. Oh, you bastard, you just discovered me. While I was doing that, I was discovered. Fabricate a claim on Smerland. I do want to send them back again because I don't want to lose too much. I could do rebel things. Just bad timing, really bad timing there. 22nd of August, you can go back. There, have some fun. Only You only lose... That's a really good change they did, that you only need three months before you can send them back again. Which would actually make espionage quite interesting to play around with. Spy network cost, also that advisor cost reduction. An extra spy. Vetting, it's better detection, also mod of um, bonus trade for yourself liberty desire goes down cost fabricate claims is down embargo and privateer efficiency is okay yearly corruption really good though I think espionage would be really nice to have actually mercenary maintenance and available main mercenaries is good rob support efficiency <laughs> that would be fun innovative foreign spy detection quality yearly army tradition decay hmm would be fun to try and play around with that for a change but for the time being. Yeah, I need to... Should also start working more on manufacturers again. Our culture conversions, they're on their way. I'll build that thing. It's still only at plus one, so two more years and that should be fine. Scotland. Really small. Danish Highlands, by the way, that still exists. Mm -hmm. Von Habsburg. A pretender rises. Regency. Oh, they just got an heir. But um, let's look at subjects at Lithuania. I will place a relative on their throne, actually. Let's force the von Habsburgs out. <laughs> Much better. And their um, liberty desire is really low, which is nice. Mm -hmm. Enforcing religion would be nice, but impossible right now. I got kicked out of the Teutonic Order. Quite a bit ago, actually. And we have recovered our economy. Conquer Lenschitza, that would be the Teutonic Order. Protector Brethren in München. Sweden, Poland, Pisa, Liege. Um, sure, you can have access. Are you at war with Munster? Okay. Interesting. Austria is up to 35,000 manpower again. We have 91,000 with 90k troops. Yeah, it's it's the combination of... I like to... Austria. See, Verdun would be a target. Then again, oh, we... Because we did drop out of the HRE. 
is of course not helping. Supporting more rebels. Oh yeah, we were doing the French ones. Rincom did drop by us activating all of our fortresses. Yeah, I still like can just mothball them again. It's no use doing that right now. Liege is now an elector, of course they are. Burgundians, no no no, let's just go with the French. That's still a sizable revolt. But it's also time to end this episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. Austria, you're still a pain in the ass. But I'll uh, see you guys later. Also make sure to check out Briarstone. There's a link in the description below.